What's up, guys? It's Nick from Freedom Algo. And today, I'm going to talk to you about buy and sell indicators. Should you use them? Are they amazing? Are they uh, a POS? You know, all that stuff. And the short answer is they can be useful, but proceed with caution. So I'm just going to type in buy. I'm just going to do this. I'm going to just pick. Uh, and I'm not picking on anybody here. I'm not picking on anybody who makes these or whatever. I'm just, you know, not trying to do that. This is really just to sh illustrate, okay? And I'm going to talk about this in, in a little bit. So let's just do, uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, pick this one. I'm just going to start clicking on some of these. And uh, no, no. All right, let's get that out of here. That did not work properly for some reason. All right, let's go here. I know Super Trend has a buy and sell on it. This one does at least. Okay. Uh, buy and sell uh, indicator here. Intraday buy sell. Let's get that one in there. Uh, I'm just going to click on a few of these. Simple buy sell. Buy sell. I, and. Part of the reason I'm clicking on these random ones that are just called like buy sell is because uh, my you can look at the code of some of these. Some of them are going to have locked code though where you can't actually see it. So you're just like choosing the indicator and you don't know what goes into it. So I'm going to click on a few of these and now I'm going to hide some. All right. Uh, let's start with this one here. Start, let's hide that one. All right. Let's just start with whatever this. Yeah. Start with this one. What in the world? So obviously, I don't even know <laughs> what is a buy sell on that one. What is even happening here? Uh, let's get that. That is just no. We're getting that out of here. We are getting that out of here. Uh, we'll put on. We'll put on uh, wave. Let's, I don't. I don't actually know. Let's go to wave trend here. Okay, let's just put that one on too. It's kind of a buy sell indicator. Okay, so let's say you had a strategy where um, it plots a buy sell indicator. So this one actually colors the bars uh, when you have a buy and then colors them when you have a sell. But what you can do, and this is uh, again, like there's different ways to control this because this is gonna color all these bars. But you can, there's other versions of this code, for example, where you can move the overbought, oversold, and only have buys that are down here and only have sales that are up here, that sort of thing. But let's just say you knew that and you had this thing coded. Well, what's gonna happen? Well, let's just plot longs as an example, okay? So here's a long, all right. Here's a long, here's a long, here's a long, okay. Uh, right away, just using one the, the default settings, you're not looking like you're very good. You're not looking like you have a very good strategy. So now let's refine that, for, for example. And let's go here, and let's set this up to uh, something like a three-point stop loss. Uh, I'm just going to make this really basic. Four and a half point take profit. Okay. All right, there's a losing trade. Okay. There's a losing trade. I'm only plotting longs just to save myself time here. There's a losing trade. Okay. There's a winning trade. I'm just plotting these on the closes of some of these uh, on some of these candles. Okay. There's another losing trade. So as you can see right away, I have mo I, I have a pretty low success rate here um, using this strategy. I'm just moving a few. Uh, that one's a losing trade. All right, so all right, you get the point. You get the point. So let's delete those drawings. So you lose on those. Now let's go here. Um, this one, I'm not exactly sure what the buy sell is on this one. It says buy sell indicator. So I, I don't know if it's like when it goes red, that's a sell. Or when it goes green, that's a buy, something like that. Um, <clears throat> it looks like it, yeah, buy signals and sell signals. So this one is giving you a ton of signals. So obviously if you went short on every one of these, uh, some of them actually look pretty good because it did catch a downtrend. But then once you start going through here and it's moving sideways, you're probably going to get ripped up with your stop losses. 
And then over here, that looked like pretty good. Um, some of these you'd be getting probably ripped up as it moves sideways. So you can see, again, just by looking at this really quickly, probably not necessarily a winning strategy. Let's X out of that one. Okay, here's another one. Okay, uh, this one looks a little bit more complex. Let's go over here and see. This one actually prints the cell. Well, if you sold there, you're getting stopped out on this move up, but it does end up going in your favor. So there's a lot losing trade right there. Uh, where the heck are all the buys and sells? Okay, I'm just seeing sells on this one mostly. Uh, here's a sell. This one probably actually worked. So you have a winning trade there. Uh, this one doesn't get you very many signals, it looks like. Okay, here we go. Here's some buys and sells over here. So let's go over. Okay, here's a buy. Probably a losing trade. You probably get wicked out on this. Maybe, you know, hard to say, like, what you actually get out of this. So that might have been a winning trade. Maybe that might have been. This is probably a losing trade. This one, you're kind of low already. You might win that one if you're scalping. So this one's actually not terrible. It's, uh, it's pretty good. So this one maybe is a winner. Maybe that one's a winner. This one's a loser. Winner. You know, so as you can see, like, decent. Uh, this one's a loser. You know, you can see that there's these, these two are both losers. This one's a loser. So there's going to be multiple losers as you go. All right. Now let's go over here. Uh, all right. I'm just not going to use that, whatever this thing is. Uh, that, was, that was okay. So here, this one has a bunch of buys and sells. Um, probably a loser, so small there. Um, you know, looking over here, like you're just getting all these buy and sell signals. Like you're getting ripped up in there. Probably a bunch of losers in there. Uh, probably some losers in here, trying to buy right there. Trying to buy right there, both losers. This one, probably a winner on that one. Probably a winner on that one if you got out fast enough. Probably a winner. Debatable if this is a winner or a loser, depending on how you played it. That one's probably a winner. That one's probably a loser. Probably a loser, depending on how big your stop losses are and all that sort of stuff. So you got to be careful with some of these strategies. Um, and I'll just put the super trend on. Everyone knows the super trend. If you just do buys and sells on the super trend, you're not going to win a lot of these. You're going to lose a lot of them because you're going to sell there. Probably a losing trade because your take profit's probably not going to be at the right spot. Probably a losing trade on the buy. You know, and then you get these huge moves where sometimes you get a huge winning trade. But the point here is that while buy and sell indicators, while they don't always work well on their own, they can be really useful in a strategy. And so just as an example, I'm just going to make some make up a strategy really fast that I don't even know if it's good or not. I'm making this up on the fly, but I just want to illustrate how you can make an, make a strategy effective using these uh let's do a so here is a 50 period ema okay and then we have our super trend on the default settings and what we're going to do in this strategy let's actually make our ema let's actually make it 100 just to make it even more laggy <clears throat> okay so what we're going to do is we're going to take Cells that are where the candle closes under the EMA. We're only going to take buys if the candle closes above the EMA. All right. So this is like this one is not valid because it closed at the EMA. It didn't close above it. So that's not going to be a buy that you would take. But this is a sell that you would take, for example. So that would be a short. That would I can just tell just by looking at it. That's a winning trade. Um, this one here, also a winning trade. This one here. Probably a, probably a losing trade unless you scalp out really fast. So you got to be careful. You're not going to be in that trade. Uh, over here, this is a f massive winning trade. Um, this sell over here is still a losing trade. But So you can see at least there's some consistency. You're not getting into some of these ones that would just chop you out right away. Uh, this sell would be a winning trade. You wouldn't be in that buy. Uh, this sell would be a winning trade. So you, you can see that at least having the EMA helps a little bit. And then what you can do is go, okay, I'm also going to add something else. Uh, maybe I'm going to add momentum. And I'm only going to take the trades if the momentum is, like I'm only going to take longs if the momentum is, you know, if I'm seeing higher lows here, right? So 
I'm starting to see some, maybe I'm, st or, or at least the momentum is kind of flat here. And then we try to get a breakout, something like that. We're only going to take shorts if we're seeing, you know, the price, the momentum angled down. So right here, it's angled down. So we're, we're, we're getting in. It's starting to come from up here. It's starting to angle down. So now we're only going to take that short. Uh, same thing here. The momentum's angled down. It's moving down. So we're going to still stick with that short. Price was moving up. So, you know, we can take this buy signal because it was showing consistency there. So that will help us a little bit. Like maybe we don't get some of the really big moves. Like this one actually was making a slightly higher lows. So it's, you know, hard to see, but it is moving up. But like this sell, you would have stayed out of because it wasn't. It was just a super sideways. So you have to, it's pretty subtle, that buy right there, but it was moving up very slightly. Um, and then down here, for example, price was moving down. So you would get into that one right here. Uh, the momentum was moving down. So you would probably get into that one. But then all this sideways action, the momentum indicator could probably help you stay out of those if you have some pretty strict criteria on how you're entering and exits. So just wanted to call that out. Buy and sell indicators can be useful. You can also use them as alerts. So you can have the buy be, this is my alert to then look at the chart and see if it fits my system. And then you can look at the chart based on your other strategy that you look at, your other price action, and you can have it trigger an alert for you to go, oh, let me go check out the chart, see if there's an entry. So buy and sell indicators, they do work really well if you use them as part of a strategy, but not as the end all. And if they did work extremely well and there was people that were just had like one single buy sell indicator and they were super profitable with that, uh, they wouldn't just list it as a free indicator on TradingView most of the time. Uh, they just wouldn't do that because why like they would be making billions of dollars. So just keep that in mind too. Like these are just a lot of times free indicators that can be useful and you can make yourself have an edge over the market by using them if you have a whole system that gives you favorable results with your risk reward and everything built out. So I just want to cover that and I will talk to you soon.